What is up, everybody? Uh, I am getting ready to do another commute. Uh, actually, I am back in Phoenix, believe it or not, but I still commute out to Las Vegas or Los Angeles to do a little bit of Hawaii flying, and I gotta do it today. So it is, well, 4.40. I have a commute flight tonight at 6.40, so I'm gonna start getting ready to roll on out to Las Vegas. I did have to get a hotel tonight, but it is what it is to fly a uh, Hawaii trip tomorrow. So in the morning, uh, we'll start off by going to Oakland and then over to Lahui. But today, let's do our commute over to Las Vegas. Get it done, never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it done, never going up, going up, going up, going up. Now the great thing about being in the airline industry is the ability to live pretty much anywhere you want. The only caveat is you have to make it work on time. So if you want to complicate your life or make it a little more, more interesting, even if you live in base, you're going to commute, kind of like I do. But it depends on what you're commuting for. If you are commuting for an airplane at a different airline or if you're like me and you're commuting to have a better schedule at a different base, sometimes commuting is worth it. Gosh, look at that thing. Ooh. That would be a 747-800 VIP. Yeah, super big baller. Ultra baller, we'll call him ultra baller. I just want to get a tour of that thing. If I get a tour of that thing, I'm going to send you guys with me. You guys are coming with me, we'll do a tour. Uh, so if you know anybody that has the hookup, hook us up. Now, if you're going to commute, you are taking on a bit of a challenge on the daily. So I've heard of guys commuting as far away as Australia to come to Phoenix. Believe it or not, it was just one guy, but he was legendary at my company for doing that. Now, I wouldn't recommend that, and it makes my little commute from Phoenix to Las Vegas a little, well, let's just say I'm not gonna complain about it. Now, when trying to commute, you should get to the airport at least an hour and a half ahead of time, but also check the loads just to make sure that there are seats on the airplane. All right, I typically sit in the back or the seat that's right in front of the exit row because it doesn't recline, so not a great seat, but I got a whole row to myself. Flight's gonna be kind of empty, which is unusual for us. So it'll be a nice ride. But getting out of the heat to go to the other heat. Now when you're commuting, um, typically I at least say hi to the pilots up front. Even though I'm not in a jump seater and you don't need to check in with the captain, I do it anyways just to say, hey, I'm back here. Um, also depends on if they're busy. If they're busy up front, I kind of a quick hello and then thanks and roll in the back. We are on our way to Vegas, quick one. It's like 40 minutes up there, so I was gonna take the Green Hornet, but Sam uh, is using it tomorrow, so I can't take it. Um, but we are gonna get some maintenance done up there this week, so I'll be back up in Vegas. Uh, maybe I'll co coincide that with a, a turn or something. But anyways, for now, we're gonna sit back, relax. We're gonna be in Vegas here in 40 minutes. And then we gotta grab an Uber to get to the hotel. That's another story. I'll tell you guys about that here in a second. in the uber on our way to the hotel just a few minutes down the road so uh staying a little bit closer to the airport kind of typical but. staying at the marriott uh right across the street from the uh, convention center um so for mbaa this is probably a good spot to go okay we are in a room finally it is uh 8 42 so what was that about four hours since uh since we started this journey, actually since I started getting ready. So yeah, again, the commute can be a little rough. This commute for me today was not just because they had a lot of open seats. So a lot of times you're gonna be stressed out on whether you're gonna make it. Now my trip isn't until tomorrow morning. Uh, I think it's a 6.40 show. So tons of time tonight. I'm gonna go downstairs, grab something to eat but um, it, this commute wasn't bad. Um, there are a lot of times where if you're commuting the same day, it gets a little funky because if you miss the flight, 
uh, depending on your airline, you know, you may be covered under a commuter rule. We have a commuter rule, thank, thankfully, but uh, it is still stressful. So you, you never want to not make your commute flight. But again, this one wasn't bad. Um, <laughs> the airline world, you can live wherever you want, like I said, but you just got to get to work on time. So um, that's, the, that's the game. You can live in some beautiful places. I would love to live in California on the Central Coast. However, it's uh, just not in the cards. What is up, everybody? We are here in Oakland, and we're heading over to La Huy today. It's gonna be a long flight, but here we go. <laughs> All right. Well, like you guys, like you guys remember in the past, we got to do a uh, inspection on the airplane before we head on out. Um, the mechanic, I just saw him walking around. He's gonna grab the logbook. He's gonna write down his stuff. Then I got to call dispatch. We got to do a two-way. Just making sure the airplane's good to go. Um, then we've got, like you guys have seen before, checklists in here that we'll run through. Uh, to make sure that the airplane and everything is loaded for our crossing. So that's what's going on. We're gonna get on it right now. All right, we're doing our final last minute items before we roll out. We're logged in to CPDLC. We've got everything else kind of accomplished here. Here's our route of flight. Coming out of Oakland off of runway 30. We're gonna head out over the water via the R664 uh, route. That's what it is. There's our ETP, so if we have an issue, we go back to uh, San Francisco there and press on to Hilo. Coast in overboard and direct Napua for Kauai. So, okay. but that is uh, it, it's gonna be five hours and five minutes. The weather over there is actually really nice. Uh, just scattered clouds, typical Hawaiian day, it's uh, 78 degrees. So that's gonna be nice and the ride should be good. So we're gonna get everything going. Last minute stuff, not last minute stuff, but finish up our checks, then we'll be out of here. Welcome to Lahui. Gate is pulling up as we speak. Uh, that is a Starbucks right there, believe it or not. So you can enjoy your Starbucks or go over there and get some uh, food and watch the airplanes come in. For an uh, airplane geek like myself, that's pretty cool. <laughs> but uh, anyways, here's what it looked like. Five hours and four minutes of flight time. Once they open up the door, the block time will come in. So it should be pretty close, probably five, oh, 525. There you go. Got 7.2 on the fuel. This is what we did. Pretty much a direct shot out here. Um, absolutely smooth ride, smooth as glass all the way to uh, the Hui. We got direct uh, Nipua. Then we did the Arnav into the runway. So Arnav Zulu 3.5. That's it, we're gonna clean up because it's noon here and the weather is beautiful it's absolutely gorgeous outside so uh, usually there's a little bit more clouds it's windier uh, today is awesome so we go out uh, I'll show you guys the resort you guys have seen it before but I'll, I'll show you some more parts of it I might do a workout real quick run along the beach or walk along the beach and I'll take the camera so you guys come to we're here <laughs> all right check it out you guys kind of uh, seen it from last time. So this is the view, which we always have to take a look at the view. Look at that. Beautiful ocean. They've got the nice pool, waterfall. It's kind of nice. Uh, not super busy out there. Last time it was pretty busy, but this time not so busy. So maybe the gym? I'm gonna guess, not so busy. So, anyways, really comfortable room. Anyways, uh, really comfortable room. You got, uh, you know, your standard bed, entrance closet, bathroom. So, 
standard stuff. Um, outside, I mean the beach, if you have not been to Kauai, the beaches are amazing and there's nobody on them. Unlike going to you know Honolulu and Waikiki where the beach is absolutely packed with people, there are no people out here. Um, at least there's so much beach that, you know, and generally it's not a, a very popular or not a very populated island as far as tourists go. So there's plenty of beach for people. <laughs> so anyways, what I'm trying to say is, Last time I went out there, there was nobody on the beach. I was sitting out there for about 20 minutes before I saw somebody. It was very zen and very relaxing. So I'm going to get out there after I hit the gym. I just want to do a quick run. Um, for sitting for five hours, i got to get my blood pumping. So I'm going to go do that and then uh, head out there. I'll show you guys some views of the beach and some of the, uh, seas, some of the sights that I see. Uh, as I'm going about. End of the night has come. It's been an awesome day um, getting out there. It is uh, not past sunset. Still beautiful out there. Again, you guys have seen this hotel. It is a great hotel right on the beach. Uh, the gym is okay, but man, hanging out on the beach and just kind of relaxing. Uh, that's where it's at. So we're going to call it a do for this video. Um, we will see you again on another video. Uh, following this video, I'm going to be doing what it's like to do uh, five legs. I think we're doing five, maybe even six legs. Um, yeah, I think it's six legs for tomorrow. But uh, anyways, that'll be on another video. For this video, we're just going to say goodbye now. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Get it done, never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it done, never going up. Going up, going up, going up, going up.